Well, hello there, George. Hope you find this video interesting. You probably already know this already since you're a New York Mets fan, but Miguel Castro, pitcher on the Mets. I think he signed a pretty nice contract for this year, I believe. See, I follow, I follow baseball too. <laughs> but he became a U.S. permanent resident or a permanent American resident just in the last day or so. And he also threw a scoreless inning but then a couple things. Let me just open this thing up here real quick. All right. He tweeted out, I think, I guess it was a tweet, but he said that after two years, he's now an official U.S. permanent resident because it's a process to go through um, to become a U.S. resident. Okay. And I dare say, for all young folks out there who may watch this, most immigrants into this country are harder workers than all of you. If you're under, I don't know, my age, under 40, just to generalize, odds are very good that almost every immigrant into this country is a harder worker than you. It's just, it's just how it is, okay? Because they did not have a silver spoon growing up. They did not have a microwave in their house, perhaps, growing up. They grew up without a lot of stuff. So they're hungry, hungry to do well. Most Americans grow up with their hand out, gimme, gimme, gimme. So anyway. Um, but he wrote, I think he tweeted it because someone shared this. I can't thank God enough for such a blessing. What started out as a dream of mine became a reality. I also want to thank my agent, uh, whatever, Elvira, something or other, for helping start this journey and seeing it all the way through. I appreciate all of you have done and continue to do. I am grateful, I am humbled, and I am proud to be a resident of America. This process has made me wiser and even more appreciative of what I have and what I can do. The American dream is not lost on me. Hashtag American resident. That touches me. That's a young man who is pitching in Major League Baseball. I think he's from the Dominican Republic. Okay. And he knows what it's all about. He knows what is important. Baseball is just a game. It's just a game. There are players who, they may play from the time they're six years old to they're 27, make it all the way to triple A in baseball, never make it to the major leagues. Some of them might be 28 and get brought up to the big league team. And then they, they fade away, never to be heard from again. Some of them, hopefully, many of them, go on to have a successful career in whatever field they decide to work in. Others can't let go. They just can't let go. And as athletes, not, it's not just baseball, it's football, it's basketball, uh, all sports. They just, that's all they have, and they can't let go. Okay? So if you think I can't let go of Maskey Finance, <laughs> trust me, I can. I promoted literacy for a good decade or so. I basically walked away. And I walked away because I was forced to, because my police department got a new chief, and they didn't support me promoting literacy. But it was time. It was time for me to walk away. Okay. With Maskey Finance, I think it's time for me to walk away. Okay. I've tried to share with all of you how to become better investors. And for whatever reason, it's just not working out. All right. For if it was working out, I'd have 269 views on every single video. I'm lucky to get 20 views or 25 views on my videos. So. Something's not working right. So for Miguel Castro, New York Mets, this born American salutes you. All right, for all baseball fans, stay tuned. I don't know if I have the time to make a baseball channel like I'd want because there's already baseball channels out there. You have a guy named Fuzzy who has a YouTube channel. He if you like baseball, watch his channel because he will run through the highlights of every game with video clips. And I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how to put the clips in here. I don't know where he gets those clips from. Okay, and I don't have that knowledge. I don't, you know, my brain's not young enough to absorb as much as his brain can perhaps absorb. I, I went for a swim a little bit ago, so my hair looks like this. Um, I got my peppermint tea also. So we'll see. Baseball, I made a Facebook post one time a year or two three four ago I forget what and I compared blueberry bushes and the fruit trees to baseball to investing and 
one of the things I said in it is that all three require patience. And most Americans, I dare say, lack in patience. Patience can be a learned skill. Most Americans lack in it. All right. Most Americans, baseball used to be, baseball, hot dog, apple pie, uh, American, I forget how it went. <laughs> but baseball used to be the American sport. But for younger folks, it's too slow. It's too boring. They want more flashiness. I had a gentleman in my house not long ago. He was a notary. And we were talking sports. He was a football fan. He was wearing a football cap. And I brought baseball to him. He said he loved baseball. But then he told me, after a while, that he kind of gave up on being a baseball fan. I said, why? Because I was wondering if it's kind of like me. You know, maybe he didn't want to pay for the, uh, the sports channels and stuff. Maybe he didn't have time. He told me that there were too many folks who were not Americans playing in Major League Baseball. And he just didn't support it. He didn't like it. So he was now following football and I think basketball and not baseball because of that reason. It's a shame. We need immigrants to help this country survive. The average American is lazy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The average American is lazy. There are too many of our young folks who just want to get caught up in whatever the latest controversy is. They want to make drama about whatever the latest drama is. They don't want to work. That's one of the problems you look around society. We have bigger problems. We have the pandemic. We have supply chain issues. It's a business situation. We got ships out there with product that are sitting. They're not able to get into port. We got ports that are backlogged and starting to work itself out, but we still got supply chain issues. We have China that COVID came back and they shut down one of their provinces, which means factory shut down. That will affect supply chain issues and on and on and on. But then Every job out there seems like it's getting better, but they need workers. People don't want to work anymore. That I started working when I was like 12, 13, 14. I was a baseball fan from the time I was a little kid. Um, I like to read books from the time I was a little kid. I thought about having a book channel. Eh, that, that would do even worse than a financial channel, I dare say. I mean, I, what am I going to do? Read a book a week and talk to my book club? I mean, I could. Um, I could read a real estate book. <laughs> um, but anyway, if I do start a baseball channel, I'll try to make it a little bit different because it's, I know it's boring. It's just masky talking to a phone. It's kind of boring. I may have my backdrop be, I subscribe to Major League Baseball TV. Um, $129 a year, I got $10 off because I don't have satellite, I don't have cable, nothing like that. So it's my only way to watch baseball. So, and I haven't watched the Orioles for probably 10 years on TV. I've watched clips online, but I haven't watched the games for probably 10 years. So now I get the opportunity to watch them again. So I may, I don't know, I may try to set this little stand up in front of like my TV out there, which isn't that big, it probably won't look that good, with the Major League, um, Major League TV like home screen behind it, maybe. We'll see. They're not going to endorse me. They probably end up suing me saying I'm showing their, home, their screen uh, illegally or something. So we'll see. I don't want to keep, if I, if I do do a baseball thing, I, I can't keep the same backdrop. <laughs> Not that this is like an investing backdrop, but eh, we got baseball in the house. Maybe I'll stick a baseball up there and a glove up there or something. We'll see. So we'll see. Uh, George, if you're still watching this, I grew up a baseball fan. I played baseball. Um, I played a lot of positions. I never got to pitch. There was one year where the coach had me warming up different times. But he never took, brought me in the game as a pitcher, and I was never the catcher. I was a tall, skinny kid. Tall for my age. I'm only 5'10", but I was tall at a young age. Um, I did hit more for, I don't know, I hit with a little bit of power some years, and more. I had speed. I could run. Um, I loved playing short stocks. My favorite player back then was Mark Belanger, number seven on the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, but then Eddie Murray came along to switch hitter, so I practiced my lefty hitting and my righty hitting. <laughs> okay. So, um, but it is what it is. My, one of my favorite memories going back in my adult time was in the country of Panama. We're playing in a softball game and I was in the outfield and I made a running catch and caught the ball and folks started kind of cheering and clapping. That was my last hurrah. <laughs> that was it. I haven't made, I haven't played any since that game. I don't think I have, I'm, and I can't do it now. I got bad back, I got bad shoulders, got bad knees. Can't do it. Um, but it, it's a fun sport, but it requires patience. It's a thinking man sport. It's a thinking man sport, okay? And that's why, to generalize, baseball players have the potential to become better investors than football players or basketball players. 
Not saying they will, but they got that potential. Folks who read books have that potential to become better investors than the average American or the average person, if they so desire, if they learn about investing. All right. So if I do start a baseball channel, I may throw out a nugget here or there on investing too, but we'll see. But I don't think, I don't know, I don't think my baseball channel would be successful if I did it. I wouldn't be flashy. I wouldn't be able to insert videos into it. So I'm just thinking out loud here. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Anyway, good enough. I told you Maskey Finance might be done. So Maskey is signing out. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my apartment tea and see what the night brings. See ya.